it's a little bit funny this feeling inside you're obviously a musician yourself yeah but how did you end up landing this gig so after 15 years in london with various musical connections then i i had a link to one of giles martin's team at abbey road who mm -hmm. who put me forward when uh, when, when the call came. And they were like, this guy seems like he could channel Elton, teach <laughs> piano. Were you an Elton John fan to begin with? Absolutely, yes. Um, as, a, as a singer and pianist myself, then, then it's an inevitability that I'd be familiar with his uh, catalogue. Um, but certainly in the kind of uh, 1997 with the whole uh, Princess Diana funeral and Candle in the Wind, that was the first time I remember feeling kind of emotionally moved by Elton's music and then it kind of stuck from that, there. That, so. I think for a lot of people, around our age that mm. was a time that was like very uh seminal i guess in Elton's no question, career yeah, yeah um you know you worked closely with taryn on this movie yeah. um and with the and with the boys the younger kids um were you teaching them to mimic elton's moves or were you just like teaching them familiarity with the piano or both <laughs> sure um it began with the actual practicalities of, of the piano and overcoming that uh, piece of furniture as i described it mm -hmm. earlier um and then as time wore on and we had the uh, more of a sense of the script and how things were going to be choreogra choreographed with the wonderful uh, Adam Murray, then uh, there was this sense of, okay, now we can start to bring some of the nuance in. Um, but it was very much a case of letting, especially in, in the case of Taron, letting him bring the movements that he wanted to bring to the mm -hmm. situation. He, you know, he had so much freedom from Elton to develop this character in the way that he wanted that, that we never felt kind of constrained to directly mimicking any particular moment. Yeah. Is there any, I was going to ask if there's like a specific way he moves his hands that's different than like a, a typical piano player or anything. At its baseline, there's uh, a classical piano technique, which yes. is a certain kind of posture, and you see that um, in the opening of Crocodile Rock, say. Uh, but we also took this element of the, uh, there's a 19, uh, 1970s footage of Top of the Pops where Elton's performing your song and the microphone is quite uh, far forward, so there's this kind of lean-in element. Mm -hmm. So we took a little bit of that in terms of the opening of Crocodile Rock, because you've got the camera there, so it's kind of, you know, I remember when Rock was young. It's just a little bit of the mm -hmm. line, lean, but with this classical technique. And then, of course, once you're fully versed in technique, you can throw it out the window. That's the beauty of it. So the kind of rock and roll elements then and kicking and, and the whole kind of hero move and everything else are, are then relieving that kind of uh, classical tension as opposed to mm -hmm. performing. Yeah, because it's interesting because Elton was classically trained. Yes. Yeah. And then it became, he got more into rock, so he blended the two, sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you have a favorite Elton song going into the filming? And then did you develop a different one or a deeper appreciation of one mm. while you're working? I think I got to work very closely with uh, Jamie Bell on Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Mm -hmm. And so that became my favorite one out, out, out of the film because, because it, oh, it became a, a sort of a... I got to know it better than, than, I, than I had previously uh, in that sense. In terms of myself then, I think it had to be your song uh, besides the kind of Candle in the Wind moment that I, that I referenced. Yeah, absolutely. Is there an Elton John outfit that you would like to own? <laughs> like to wear? Like a, if you were going to be Elton for Halloween, which one would you go with? <laughs> I think it'd have to be the orange jumpsuit with the horns. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it's, I heard from Julian that it's very hot. Uh, I bet. <laughs> that it's like a oh, yeah. scuba suit, basically. <laughs> yes. Um, I think uh, mimicking Taron, then that, that denim jacket which I think he's got now is, is pretty cool. So, Good for yeah. him, man. <laughs> what a shy little boy you were. <laughs> Look at you now. 